into space. The throttle down in preparation for max Q. Moment of peak mechanical stress on the rocket. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. There, we just heard the call out that the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Side course shutdown. Booster separation confirmed. Successful separation of the side boosters. Booster boosting for startup. There we can see three engines on each side booster have relit for their boost back burn. At this point in time, both side boosters are returning. All vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Good news there, both side boosters and the center core, uh, everything looking good. Side boosters are returning to the coast of Florida, uh, now under the power of three engines. Booster engine burns have started. There we heard the call out that the booster entry burn has begun. Looks like the ice on those cameras are now clearing. CY and NY FTS have saved. All vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. So that re-entry burn has concluded. We're expecting the landing burn to begin in about 30 seconds. The entry burn intended to slow the vehicles down significantly as they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Amazing tracking cam views of the boosters as they return to landing zone one and two. We can see the grid fins there. Both on side boosters transonic. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage two is in terminal guidance. We can see those grid fins steering the boosters for a precise landing. Again, we're attempting Booster landing. Landing, landing zone one and two. With these two side boosters, this marks the 150th and 151st overall successful landing of an orbital class rocket. This is the 21st landing at landing zone one and the fourth landing at landing zone two.